you know, a simple one is, is just even lease renewals, for example. I mean, we used to have this big convoluted manual process for figuring out how we're going to do lease renewals and rent increases. It was this big process. And so, you know, a couple of us got together and just just spent a bunch of hours and just hammered out. Actually, we're probably on version five because we've done it. So we've done it. We've done it and redone it and redone it so many times that we finally got to this process, which now anybody can do in about two to three hours a month, you know, versus this, you know, super painful process that we did before. And same thing with um, onboarding new units and, and, and onboarding new tenants. We've just tried to streamline all that. I'm working on a new one right now to try to automate the whole onboarding of new buildings. That That's a, it's not difficult. It just takes time. So if we can automate some of those pieces. So. Yeah. Can you go into a little bit more of the rent increase process or lease renewal process? Uh, because you're right, it can take a long time. And I think that a lot of owners just kind of let it go. They might mm -hmm. let their own, their tenants just go month to month and then the rent stay the same for years and years and years because mm -hmm. they don't want to upset the boat. Yeah. Well, we decided and we were the same. We had that same kind of paradigm where we thought, you know, that, that, lease renewals and rent increases were one and the same or were coupled. And so, you know, signing a new lease is, there's a lot of work and brain damage that goes into that. It can be, especially if the tenant doesn't really want to sign a new lease or doesn't want to deal with the rent increase. So we decided to decouple those and we, we do lease renewals on probably 50% of our Pro our units because the owners want, tr you know, a, a brand new, fresh 12 month lease, or we do them because, you know, we get a, you know, a, a lease when we inherit a lease that's written on the back of a napkin, you know, we just have to. Um, but what we decoupled was that we now do systematic um, yearly rent increases by simple notification. So, you know, it's nothing more than we send a notification out 75 days in advance that says your rent is changing to X. Mm -hmm. And that's, there's no approval. There's no discussion. There's really no, I mean, we, we, we discuss it with the owner. We send, the, we send the owner a notification also that says, unless you tell us otherwise, we're increasing the rent on this unit on, you know, in 75 days to this amount. We don't hear anything back in a week. Then we send that out to the tenant and that's it. And then we put it in our system and we move on. So um, that's a place where we just we, we just kind of blew up the process and said, why are we killing ourselves to sign new leases when that's not really the goal? The goal is really to get the rent increases. Yeah, there's a lot of, like you said, brain damage that goes into mm -hmm. signing a new document. Yeah. But if yeah, you yeah. simply give them notice, that can have the same effect. Want to hear more on this topic? Click the link below for the full episode of Maximizing Your Property Value. Thank you.